Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a session where you watch and learn. I am tu your tutor, Sarah Maiba. Today I'm taking you through CRE Form 2, Lesson 2. We are in the topic, Old Testament Prophecies about the Messiah. Our subtopic is the Old Testament Prophecies. Welcome. So we are going to start with our lesson objectives. What is ex expected of the learner by the end of the lesson? So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain the prophecies of Jeremiah. Two, by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain the prophecies of Mika. On our previous lesson, we looked at some of the prophecies. We looked at Nathan's prophecies and we also looked at Isaiah's prophecies. So today we are looking at Jeremiah's prophecy. So Jeremiah prophesied that a righteous descendant of David would... Jeremiah prophesied that a righteous descendant of David would. Also, Jeremiah promised to raise a, a branch who shall, that descendant, that branch, that that descendant of David would rule wisely. He prophesied that he would rule wisely. He also prophesied that he the Messiah would do what is right and just. He prophesied that the Messiah would do what is right and just. He also prophesied that the Messiah would ensure that Judah is safe from all enemies. He also prophesied that the Messiah would ensure that Israel lives in peace. He would ensure that Judah and Israel are safe and in peace. He, the Messiah would be called the Lord our salvation. That the Messiah would be called the Lord our salvation. He would be called our righteousness. The Lord our salvation. He would, he prophesied that the Messiah would come from the house of David. Remember God promised to raise a branch from David. So the Messiah he prophesied that the Messiah would come from the house of David. Jeremiah also prophesied that there would be no solo injustice or fear. He, he prophesied that during this Messianic era, there would be no sorrow, injustice or fear. He also prophesied that the land would be filled with joy and so we have seen the Je Jeremiah's prophecies. Then we look at Micah's prophecy. The Messianic Micah's prophecy. Micah prophesied that. You see that Micah prophesied that the Messianic king shall come from Bethlehem. He prophesied that the Messianic king shall come from Bethlehem and he shall come to see how he came from Bethlehem. He prophesied that. The Messiah shall lead with authority and strength of God. He is prophesied that the Messiah would lead with authority and strength of God. He prophesied that the Messiah would bring peace to fulfill the promise God made to King David. He prophesied that the Messiah would bring peace to fulfill the promise God made to King David. Micah's prophecy also said that people would acknowledge or recognize his greatness. Mika prophesied that people would acknowledge or recognize his greatness. So that is about Mika's prophecy. Then on we look at the psalmist prophecies. The psalmist prophecy. In this one you can find it in Psalms 41, 91 or and Psalms 110, verse 1 to 2. Here we see that the Messiah would be called Lord the King. The Messiah would be called Lord the King. He will sit at the right hand of God. He would sit at the right hand of God. God would make him victorious over his enemies. God would make him victorious over his enemies. He will come from Zion. That The Messiah would come from Zion. Also in the Psalmist prophecy, he said that he will be mighty. He says that he will be mighty. Also, he will be betrayed by a close friend. The psalmist prophecy also says that he will be betrayed by a close friend. And also that the psalmist prophecy says that he will be a ruler. He will be a ruler or he shall rule forever. He shall rule forever. So that's the psalmist prophecy. The psalmist prophecy. So we have looked at the Jeremiah's prophecy. We have looked at Micah's prophecy and the psalmist prophecy. So that's the end of our lesson and we have an activity. Question one, describe Jeremiah's prophecy 
question to explain the prophecies of Micah. And on to our references, you can refer to Secondary Christian Religious Education, Student Book 2, that is KLB 3rd edition. Thank you for joining me. For this and more, you may contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You can also find us on YouTube, Elimu TV, on Facebook, Elimu TV, and on Twitter, at Elimu TV underscore KU. Till next time. Bye-bye.